Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Okay, let's talk about summertime. Well, let's just act like it is summertime, as just my previous video in winter, just to make it a little bit easier. I don't want to make it summertime because you can just get the general idea. So let's just imagine how we're going to survive in summertime as we decide to walk around. Of course, there's a few different ways about doing this, but generally speaking, you want to leave your thermal stone either in the ice box or you want to leave it sitting by the fire um, that is inside of your endothermic fire pit inside of your base. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can just leave all your thermal stones in an ice box, which I really recommend doing, especially during summertime, because it's a lot easier than continue to keep this thing nice and warm, as your, th as your ice box will always stay cold no matter what. But anyways, I want to travel around. So it's summertime, and I've decided to grab my thermal stone out of the fridge. And if you don't remember how to make a thermal stone, you can go to my previous guide where I showcase step-by-step -step on how to survive during summertime. But essentially, you're going to be needing 10 rocks, a pickaxe, and, and some flint, and essentially your uh, alchemy machine. Once you decide to make your thermal stone, like I said, plop it in the fridge, wait until it gets to a nice cool temperature, and then you're ready to go. Essentially, from there... What we're going to do is we're going to pre-craft ourselves on a little tiny little endothermic fire. Now, this requires three grass and two niter. And how do you get yourself some niter? Well, you go ahead and chop down some boulders. When you get your boulders, keep around six to eight niter in your inventory at all time and quite a bit, a little bit of grass. As I'm inside of creative mode right now, obviously I'm not consuming any of these things, but nonetheless, I always like to leave an endothermic fire just obviously pre-crafted in my inventory as I walk around. Essentially speaking, if my thermal stone is nice and keeping me cold as I'm walking around and walking around and walking around, one of these days I'm just going to say, okay, you know, there's a few options. You can obviously stand under a tree, you can make a worthy fan, do a few other things. But to keep it nice and simple, the best way to do it is by just pre crafting one of your endothermic fires. And as you do, you can sit there and during nighttime, sit there and cool off, or daytime and cool off. And then when, it, and when you're finished with that, go ahead and do it again. Now, there are other ways to cool yourself off, but to keep it nice and simple and not complicate things, it's your best bet for actually going through the process of traveling through summertime without having to worry about obviously getting too warm. And honestly, I use it all the time and it works great. Essentially speaking, once you go ahead and use your thermal stone next to an endothermic fire, it doesn't take very long before your, your thermal stone is ready to go and you're able to walk around uh, for a while during summertime again. Of course, it depends on what you're doing, but it'll last you quite a while and and then eventually through the process of, you know, going ahead and making another one, just make sure that you stay on top of your resources, which usually just requires niter, which is extremely easy to get. And yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. Go walk around during summertime and have a fun time because these are so simple to make and so inexpensive. So why not just make a million of them, shall you? Anyways, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.